All right, everyone, pop quiz. Hollywood is doing a remake of an old fictional story that takes place during biblical times. The movie will have characters like Jesus, Mary Magdalene, John the Baptist, and others from that era. What is going to be the big unexpected twist that happens with all the characters? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. What they're just they're just gonna make everybody black. That's that's the big twist. That is the unexpected twist in this story. Is, is they're just they're making everybody black. Who could have possibly seen this coming? Produced by Jay Z, which is kind of a joke in and of itself. The Book of Clarence pulls in classic biblical figures like Jesus and Mary Magdalene, but with an unexpected twist. Yeah, everybody knows what that twist is gonna be. Jay-Z says, most of the stories told in the Old West didn't include brown people. We know they existed. I think he's a little confused. Well, first of all, it's pretty obvious he's confused because, I mean, look at the casting that he's doing for these characters. But maybe he thinks he's making a cowboy movie because he, he's referring to the Old West. I don't know. Anyways, he, he, he doesn't exactly know what he's doing. Now, the thing is, is I know some of you out there, you're not going to be Christians. You don't believe in God or Jesus or none of that stuff. Maybe you just care about this from sort of a cultural identity politics perspective where they're obviously racistly blackwashing important historical figures. So this is kind of like the Cleopatra situation all over again. You know, you have these very deranged people, the We Was Kangs, who genu and I, I want to be clear about this. They genuinely, sincerely believe that Cleopatra, Mark Anthony, Caesar, Jesus, right, even Napoleon, Mozart, they believe that they were black. This is not an exaggeration. This is not some weird, I mean, yeah, it is weird because it's obviously not true, but they actually believe this. Like, this is a group of extremely racist black people who genuinely, sincerely believe that all of the major historical people from the past were actually black and that somehow evil white people have taken over and rewritten history or something. Like, it is, it is bizarre, but that is actually what they believe. But as I said, not all of you believe in God or Jesus, but I want you to stop and think for a second and look at this from the perspective of the people that are actually making this who claim to be believers in God and Jesus. They are deliberately changing these important historical people in order to fit their current year narrative. They are literally changing who Jesus is in order to fit their current political narrative. That is sacrilegious. It's blasphemy. I, I don't know. Like, how awful is that? When you have someone who is supposedly genuinely believes in all these things and he says, you know what? Hang on a second. Hold on a second, Jesus. I know that you existed. I believe in you and all of the miracles and this and that and yada yada. But I don't quite think that you, Jesus, the son of God, is actually as perfect as you were supposed to be. So I'm going to racistly blackwash you in my movie because... I feel that it's more important than some of the other men. Like how, like, how absurd is this, right? Again, from a perspective of someone who actually believes, looking at the people who are making this movie, whether you believe in this or not, just look at it from their perspective. Like, they are actually trying to improve on Jesus by making him black. That is their, that is their notion. That is their goal with this. Which, of course, brings up the question, what did Jesus actually look like? And you'll see a lot of atheists who will say, well, he wasn't this white person. He wasn't European with blue eyes or none of that. And you have these scientists who tried to recreate what Jesus looked like. And essentially, they made him look like a black caveman, which is not even remotely accurate. The truth of the matter is, is that Jesus, whether he was the son of God or just a normal person, he was from Nazareth. And with Nazareth, this is what the people of Nazareth look like. They are technically Arab, but they are very, very light Arabs. And they're kind of a mix between a European and an Arab. They're not exactly white like a European, and they're not really the dark browns of what you would typically expect for an Arab. This is what they look like. They're just kind of, they're honestly, they're they're kind of Italian looking to be to be perfectly blunt here, right? They have a slightly darker skin tone than what you would find in the northern parts of Europe. But this is what Jesus of Nazareth would have looked like, something along this line. That is what the person would have looked like. Whether you believe he's the son of God or not, that is what the people from that time period look like. So no, he wasn't black. 
And it is absolutely is sacrilegious. It's a blasphemy to to try to recreate. I mean, honestly, again, if you're atheist, not, then a lot of this doesn't matter. Maybe you only care about the the racist blackwashing, the identity politics, and that sort of stuff. But for anybody that's actually a Christian, like, how can you, like, the the audacity of trying to improve Jesus in your story, right? Like, how can you? It, it, it just it just again it, it boggles the mind. Like how. How arrogant, how conceited does a person have to be? And, and this is for someone who's actually a Christian, and like I presume that the people who make this movie are actually Christian. How arrogant, conceited do they have to be to think that they could actually improve on the Son of God? Right? Like it's just, it's just, it's ridiculous, is what it is. Hopefully, this ridiculous absurdity gets the full Cleopatra treatment and is driven into the ground where it belongs. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock. Electronic, blow the sonic boom.